If you're over 50 and taking vitamin D, you might be wasting money or worse, clogging your arteries. 42% of Americans are making this deadly mistake without even knowing it. Today, I'll expose the lies about vitamin D that even your doctor might not have told you. Everyone believes sunshine and vitamin D pills will protect their bones and health, right? But new research reveals a frightening truth. The wrong combination could contribute to arterial calcification instead of strengthening bones. In the next few minutes, you'll discover the exact formula that's helped thousands of people optimize vitamin D safely. I'll also show why buying expensive K2 supplements might be wasting $300 monthly on something your body can produce itself. And most importantly, one mineral that without it, no matter how much vitamin D you take, is useless. Watch to the end because I'll share a detailed step-by-step -step protocol for you. There are three ways your body gets vitamin D, through sunshine, food, and supplements. But the sad truth is the first two are nearly useless after age 50. One billion people globally and 42% of Americans are vitamin D deficient. This number is truly alarming. The problem starts with your own skin. After age 50, skin produces vitamin D 75% slower than when young. Add to that, if you apply sunscreen as dermatologists recommend, vitamin D production drops to just 5% remaining. Belly fat that many accumulate with age makes things worse. Vitamin D gets trapped in fat tissue instead of circulating in blood. Moreover, car windows, office windows, all block 100% of UVB rays needed to produce vitamin D. My father is tragic proof of this. He lived in sunny California, but had zero vitamin D levels, leading to spinal fractures that left him unable to walk or urinate independently. My granddaughter, a physical education student, swims outdoors daily, but still has low vitamin D. The deficiency caused her to lose motivation and mood decline, affecting even her swimming performance. These two cases show a harsh truth. Living in sunny places and frequent outdoor activity still don't guarantee sufficient vitamin D. So, when receiving low vitamin D test results, don't be surprised or panic. Instead, understand the real cause and effective solution. I want to share an important lesson about how the body reacts when vitamin D deficient and why most of us don't realize until too late. But before sharing that, let me know where you're watching from. Type your state or country name and add sunny if where you live has lots of sunlight or cloudy if not. Back to my personal lesson story. As a doctor, I once thought I understood vitamin D well, but my body taught me a painful lesson. Six months of hell began with small rashes I thought were just common allergies. But they spread so fast I couldn't wear clothes, skin burning like fire whenever fabric touched. Three skin biopsies, six different specialists from dermatologists to immunologists, no one gave an accurate diagnosis. Some said allergies, others said infection, some even suspected rare autoimmune disease. The final specialist suggested strong immunosuppressants, drugs that would suppress the entire body's defense system. At my most desperate moment, I decided to review all my own tests, and that's when I discovered my vitamin D level was single digit, alarmingly low. The irony is as a doctor, I'd overlooked this most basic sign. But here's the important part I want you to understand. Vitamin D isn't just about bones as everyone thinks. When vitamin D is deficient, your immune system becomes chaotic and can attack your own body. In my case, it manifested through skin. For others, it might be arthritis, chronic fatigue, or depression. Deciding against immunosuppressants, I began a serious vitamin D recovery program. 5,000 international units of D3 daily, combined with magnesium and dietary changes. Results came unexpectedly fast. One week later, the rash was reduced by half. For two weeks, I could wear soft t-shirts. One month, my skin nearly returned to normal. But the biggest lesson wasn't that vitamin D cured the rash. It was realizing millions live with similar symptoms not knowing the cause is vitamin D deficiency. They go from doctor to doctor, using all kinds of expensive and dangerous drugs, while the solution might simply be adjusting vitamin D. This experience also taught me the body has amazing recovery ability when provided sufficient, necessary nutrients. Like soldiers or athletes need proper nutrition to perform best, our bodies also need sufficient vitamin D for the immune system to function normally. 
So if vitamin D is that important, why not just eat lots of vitamin D rich foods? The economic answer will make you think again. Let's do simple math about the actual cost of getting vitamin D from food. To get 1,000 international units of vitamin D from wild salmon, considered the best source, you need to eat 12 ounces daily. At current prices, that's about $20 a day, $600 monthly, just to meet minimum needs. And remember, when you're already vitamin D deficient, 1,000 units isn't enough for recovery. What about milk? What we've been taught since childhood is good for bones? The truth will disappoint you. Skim milk contains only two international units per cup. You'd need to drink 500 cups for 1,000 units. Completely absurd. Whole milk is better with 125 units per cup, but carries another danger. Insulin-like growth factor in milk, or IGF-1, can stimulate cancer cell growth, especially dangerous for prostate cancer in men and breast cancer in women. The paradox is countries consuming most milk, like Finland and Sweden, have the world's highest fracture rates. Clearly, the story about milk and strong bones is more complex than advertisements want you to believe. Mushrooms are an interesting choice because they can produce vitamin D when sun exposed. But how many people actually expose mushrooms to sunlight 30 minutes before cooking? And even if you do, the vitamin D amount is still insignificant compared to actual needs. For lactose intolerant people, comprising most adults, especially those of Asian and African descent, the problem becomes even more complex. So face this harsh truth. Food cannot provide enough vitamin D for most of us, especially when already deficient. This means vitamin D supplements are nearly mandatory for people over 50. But here's where things get complicated. Walk into any pharmacy, you'll see dozens of different vitamin D types. D2, D3, with calcium, with K2, doses of 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 units. And most people choose wrong or incorrect without knowing. Let me help you avoid these costly and dangerous mistakes. Did you know not all vitamin D is created equal? There are two main types on the market. D2 ergocalciferol and D3 colocalciferol. Many doctors still prescribe D2 because it's cheaper and available as prescription medication. But this is a big mistake. A meta-analysis of seven independent studies proved D3 completely superior in raising and maintaining blood vitamin D levels. In other words, with the same dose, D3 is twice as effective as D2. But the biggest mistake I see isn't choosing the wrong type. It's taking vitamin D with calcium supplements. Many doctors recommend this combo for strong bones, but they don't tell you the dark side of the story. Calcium from pills isn't like calcium from food. Without proper directing factors, calcium supplements can deposit in arteries instead of bones, turning blood vessels into calcified pipes. This is exactly why some studies link calcium supplements with increased heart attack risk. And then comes the K2 story, the vitamin advertised as D3's indispensable friend. The market floods with K2 supplements priced $50 to $100 monthly. They say K2 directs calcium into bones, and this isn't wrong. K2 actually activates osteocalcin protein to bind calcium in the right place. But here's the secret the supplement industry doesn't want you to know. First, famous Japanese studies about K2 were retracted for suspected data fraud. Second, your gut bacteria produce 50% of needed K2. Third, just eating two cups of leafy greens daily, gut bacteria will convert vitamin K1 to K2 for free. The world's longest living people don't take K2 supplements. They eat green vegetables. It's that simple. So instead of spending $300 on K2, buy greens for $5 and get more benefits. But here's the big problem. Even if you've chosen the correct D3, avoided the calcium trap, and not wasted money on K2, vitamin D still might not work. Why? Because the body needs five key factors most people don't have enough of. This is the part that shocks most people when I explain. You can take the highest dose of vitamin D3, the best medicine, but if you lack one of these five factors, your body still can't use it. Like having a golden key, but the lock is broken. The first factor many don't expect is bile and something called chylomicrons. Don't worry about the complex name. Imagine them as super tiny taxis. Vitamin D is fat-soluble, not water-soluble. 
so it needs bile as an emulsifying agent, then gets packaged into chylomicron taxis to move through the lymphatic system. If you have gallbladder problems or poor fat digestion, vitamin D goes straight out. The second factor is a healthy small intestine, where actual absorption happens. If you have irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, or even just chronic digestive disorders, vitamin D absorption ability decreases significantly. The third factor is liver. The factory converting vitamin D to 25 hydroxyform doctors measure in blood. Fatty liver, cirrhosis, or even just regular alcohol drinking reduces this conversion ability. But the fourth factor is most important that 90% of people don't know, magnesium. Without magnesium, enzymes needed to convert vitamin D to active form cannot function. It's like a broken electrical switch. Power comes in, but lights won't turn on. My experience is clearest proof. Taking 5,000 units D3 daily for three months, vitamin D level stayed at just nine. Adding 400 milligrams of magnesium, eight weeks later increased to 65. Miraculous beyond belief. The final factor is healthy kidneys to create one. 25 dihydroxy form, the actual active form of vitamin D. 30% of people over 65 have reduced kidney function, meaning vitamin D cannot complete its conversion journey. If you're frequently tired despite adequate sleep, night cramps, or irregular heartbeat, you're very likely magnesium deficient. And if magnesium is deficient, all vitamin D you take is just waste. But when all five factors work harmoniously, vitamin D will work miracles with your body. And its real role is much more complex than what you once thought. Now you understand how to make vitamin D work. Let's explore why it's so important. This truth will completely change how you view your health. Vitamin D isn't an ordinary vitamin. It's actually a steroid hormone, and interestingly, the body needs cholesterol to produce it. That's right, the very cholesterol many fear is indispensable raw material. This is why people using strong statins to lower cholesterol often have low vitamin D levels. What makes vitamin D special is its ability to penetrate cell membranes and interact directly with DNA. It has receptors on every cell in the body, from brain, heart, to each immune cell. When vitamin D binds to receptors, it turns on and off over 30,000 genes like a conductor controlling a massive orchestra. In the immune system, vitamin D activates production of catholicidins and defensins, the body's powerful, natural antibiotics. Simultaneously, it regulates T regulatory cells, the gatekeepers preventing the immune system from attacking the body itself. This is why Harvard research in 2022 found vitamin D supplementation reduces autoimmune disease risk by 22%. For the brain and mood, vitamin D regulates serotonin production, the happiness hormone. My granddaughter's case is perfect proof. From losing motivation, mental decline, just after two months adjusting vitamin D, she returned full of energy and broke personal records in swimming. For the respiratory system, vitamin D strengthens protective barriers in lungs and airways. People with levels under 20 nanograms per milliliter have three times higher respiratory infection risk. During COVID pandemic, people with vitamin D levels from 40 to 60 nanograms had clearly milder symptoms and recovered faster. But perhaps most impressive is the anti-aging role. Vitamin D protects telomeres, DNA segments determining cell aging speed, People with optimal vitamin D levels have longer telomeres, equivalent to being five biological years younger. When vitamin D level reaches 50 nanograms per milliliter, your body operates at optimal state. Abundant energy, sharp mind, strong immune system, and most importantly, you're protecting yourself from dozens of chronic diseases. That's not magic, but pure science. Here's what many doctors don't tell you, perhaps because they also don't know or don't have time to explain. Taking vitamin D with calcium supplements without proper cofactors not only wastes money, but can also increase arterial calcification risk. But when you combine vitamin D with magnesium and leafy greens, that's the true natural protection formula for people over 50. This formula isn't complex, not expensive, but much more effective than what the supplement industry wants you to believe. Your body is smarter than you think, it just needs to be provided the right things, the right way, and most importantly, at the right time. Through everything we just discovered, clearly the vitamin D journey is much more complex than just taking one pill daily. You need magnesium to activate vitamin D. 
need to avoid calcium supplements that can cause arterial calcification, and instead of spending money on expensive K2, eat greens so your body produces its own. I firmly believe the health tragedy of millions of elderly people could be completely avoided if they knew this information 10 years earlier. That's also why I share this video today. If you think this information could help your loved ones avoid osteoporosis or cardiovascular problems, don't hesitate to share right now. Hit the like button to help many others find this important information. And especially, subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss health updates for people over 50. Thank you for taking time to watch, and see you in the next video.